it is an area of law in which the manufacturer thereafter distributor supplier retailer and other when you are included many are involved uh, in uh, making the product to reach to the hands of the public okay. others to make to make the product to reach to the public reach to the public right held responsible see all these people it may be the manufacturer that is being a company distributor supplier retailer all other people who are responsible like who are uh, making the effort so that the product will come into the hand of the public are going to be held responsible when they are going to be held responsible let us see here held responsible when product causes injury it may not just only injury it may be death also it may be the damage to the pro um, property also in that case uh, all these people are going to be held responsible that, that is nothing but the product liability i hope yeah. you are following this all right we just go through this uh, the definition what i have given what i have given you it is an area of law yes of course it is a law and uh, in which uh, the company which has manufactured the product and the person who has distributed the product and the one who is supplying and the owner of the retailer that is uh, the shops you go and buy right uh, he is also going to like they are, yeah, all these people are making the product to reach to the public are going to held responsible when the product causes injury and uh, we all must understand that uh, product the word product has broad connotations like the meaning of the product goes uh, very broad but here uh, product liability as uh, a area of law are uh, traditionally limited to the tangible uh, personal uh, property if, if, if the products are like tangible then only it is considered like if the products are touchable like mobile phones is touchable like we can take computer any other products okay so you must understand that product liability is traditionally limited to tangible products okay with this i have just made you uh, know uh, what exactly the uh, meaning of the product liability all right all of you uh, maybe following okay uh, if you want to understand the meaning of this manufacturer okay liability is nothing but the responsibility who is going to be responsible am i audible internet connection is unstable it is showing can anybody yeah. let me know it's clear right yeah yeah sir yeah thank you um, and there are many uh, case studies uh, there are many examples have been on this uh, product liability i'd like to let you know uh, but uh, you also have to understand that why this product liability has come into the picture uh, we all know that with the marvel of technology uh, uh, new product and uh, uh, needed and uh, uh, required new products are coming i mean to say that uh, we get to see the updated as well the modified products coming to the market every uh, while like uh, today or uh, this month what product we are seeing the next month the product may have a little bit uh, uh, variations in it like uh, updated in it all this is possible due to the enhancement in the technology okay once we have got uh, the enhancement in the technology competitors are there like um, they are doing that much let me do a little bit more into it so what happens um, the diversity in the product is going to be increased and uh, technically uh, complexity in the product is going to be uh, increases why because they want to have uh, they want to give the competition to the competitors okay and due to this what happens sometimes the competition among the uh, manufacturers the competition among the uh, what uh, producers uh, sometimes forces the uh, marketing of the product uh, uh, 
before uh, it has been tested adequately right sometimes what happens as there is a demand and as there is a, uh, uh, a competition uh, some of the companies may just go ahead with their uh, marketing of the product before uh, adequate testing has been done in that case what happens uh, when there is no adequate testing has been done on a particular product the product may always create injuries almost uh, always may create some damages to the property they are owning right and uh, uh, indeed uh, uh, it is the uh, unproven technology always uh, uh, create some hazards uh, which are unknown prior to the use of the product in the sense uh, if there is a new product has come into the market nobody has used it and uh, the difficulty or the fault with that product are going to be uh, known to the people once it is used so they says they says that the unproven technology always creates hazards and those hazards are unknown prior to the usage of the product and as i was mentioning at the beginning that the diversity in the product as well uh, more complexity technically complexities in the product will uh, going to increase the severity of the injury injuries that will create okay so one the sound is not coming sir you are on mute yes i hope now i am able to Am I audible? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Now you are audible. Yeah. yeah, I was talking about uh, the initiations of lawsuits are increasing in record numbers by the consumers, and uh, the reason behind the number of the lawsuits shooting up is uh, the injury, death, as well as uh, damage to the personal property. You must always understand. the reason behind a consumer files a lawsuit is due to the three reason i'm just writing those three reasons you must be following first one is being injury second one is it may create or it may cause death and third one is third one is uh, uh damage to the property damage to the property okay these three are the major reasons behind uh, a consumer files a legal suit against uh, a manufacturer or against a distributor or against a supplier or against a owner of a retailer anybody can be made included in this uh, lawsuit 
and uh, uh, one must understand that when these kind of lawsuits are initiated against the manufacturer it is going to uh, make the manufacturer incur a huge loss they'll have to recall their products they'll have to uh, uh, treat those injuries they'll have to uh, pay the amount for the debts as well as they'll have to pay the compensation for the damage their product has caused to the consumer so that this has to be avoided which has to be avoided lawsuits or product liability must be made avoided by the manufacturer otherwise the man the manufacturer will go into bankruptcy it is going to incur a huge loss for them right and uh, to mention few examples what extent of loss this product liability is going to create on a manufacturer uh, in the year 2014 mm -hmm. you have heard about uh, general motors all of you know general motors which is the uh, leading manufacturer of automobiles in 2014 what happens i'm talking about the case studies two examples i'm quoting examples of product liability indeed these examples have been like very famous examples examples of product liability yes i'm taking the first example general motor corporation gm in 2014 uh, several number of uh, the motors automobiles that are manufactured by general motors uh, were discovered to be faulty uh, due to their uh, ignition switches the ignition ignition switches of uh, general motors were found to be faulty and that ignition switches uh, used to uh, switch off the ignition switch off the engine during its running just you try to imagine somebody is driving his car and all of a sudden during the driving the engine is going to be shut off and that is due to the uh, faulty ignition switch and again that ignition switch used to uh, disconnect the power steering as well as the braking system of the vehicle and again that ignition switch uh, was not like uh, was not making the uh, what uh, those inflators uh, you you see that what is that uh, uh, when uh, airbags are there right airbags used to not uh, inflate uh, during the accidents so all this uh, led to several number of uh, accidents and several number of the deaths and the number of accidents were uh, recorded as 13 deaths and some 31 accidents car accidents Montius, please be muted. Please be muted yourself. Yeah, I'm talking about the example of product liability. For example, Montius, go on mute. Be on mute. Yeah. Yes. And uh, due to this, uh, uh, faulty ignitions which uh, general motor has to bore uh, a huge amount it set aside uh, some 400 billion dollars uh, for this case and it uh, required several uh, several uh, number of uh, autos like cars and uh, it incurred a huge loss for it and at one point of the time uh, people were uh, talking about uh, general motors may go into bankruptcy you just imagine the extent of loss the extent of the 
uh, grief that uh, GM has come across when this faulty ignition switch was produced by them, right? So one must be uh, seeking or one must be uh, what uh, uh, putting all the efforts so that uh, no products, uh, no uh, uh, equipment or no component of uh, ours are going to be uh, faulty, right? This is the one example. And one more example I'll just give you. In order to make you understand what do you mean by product liability, I'm just giving you two examples, okay? And one more example is uh, McDonald's coffee. It's all the case study. You can always uh, write in your examination also when a question comes on the uh, product liability. You can give the case studies as General Motor as well as the McDonald's uh, gray coffee or hot coffee. What happens if a lady uh, who uh, who buy coffee from McDonald's uh, a joint in United States, I think. Uh, by mistake, uh, she pours the coffee, hot coffee, uh, on her uh, lower body, and the uh, third degree burns are going to, uh, she's going to suffer from a third degree burn on her uh, lower body. And uh, her uh, lawyer, uh, advocate uh, uh, begin to prove that uh, the coffee was served at a temperature of uh, 190 degrees Celsius as compared with the other uh, coffees, other uh, uh, brand coffee who supplies the coffee at some 130 or 140 degrees Celsius. So the jury was uh, uh, jury in the sense the like uh, court order. It was in favor of that lady and McDonald's uh, uh, ended up paying her some seven crore rupees as compensation, as well medical treatment was good by uh, McDonald's coffee. You just imagine just for a coffee of some 30, 50 rupees, uh, the coffee brand uh, like McDonald's company has paid her some 7.5 crore rupees as compensation. So it is uh, very much advised as well as uh, 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 followed practice from our, all the organizations that they'll be doing all the efforts so that such kind of uh, mistakes, such kind of the faults may not going to happen uh, uh, in the uh, what, uh, products so that it will not create any injury, it will not create any damage and uh, no lawsuits are going to be filed against them. Okay. Uh, my connection is again going poor. Uh, let me go. Please stay with me. Yes. With this, I hope you all understood what is the meaning of definition of the product liability and uh, what are the uh, cases in which lawsuits can be initiated by the consumers against the manufacturer and the examples of product liability the two best example famous example i have quoted here for the product liability next uh, we will have to see that what are the reasons behind the faulty products when the product is going to become faulty right like uh, how the product is going to become faulty there may be various uh, stages in which the product may go fault it may be during the design it may be during the manufacturing and even if, uh, during the uh, marketing also uh, we may uh, like uh, the seller may give wrong information and there are various facets for this we just try to understand the three cases uh, in which uh, a product may go fault like the reasons for product injuries fall generally into three areas. Okay, like why the product will create the injury uh, will fall into three categories. Okay, reasons. I'm talking about the reasons for product injuries. It is very much clear. We are discussing the reasons for product injuries in the sense what are the ways or 
in what cases a product exactly going to create the injuries okay the first reason is being you must focus very important topics these are all they may ask you the question state the reasons for product injuries okay in that case you can always write this and the areas of product injuries are the behavior or knowledge of a product user right that is the first one the behavior or knowledge knowledge of of product user second one <clears throat> um, whether the factory has designed and constructed the product carefully using the safety analysis so this is the second one otherwise uh, second one can also be uh, considered as the environment where the product is used the environment where the product is used and third one third and last one is the a factory whether the factory has designed and constructed the product carefully whether the factory designed and constructed the product using carefully safety analysis quality control carefully using safety and quality control safety analysis and quality yes these are the three reasons we can put always for the product injuries the first one is very true obviously it depends upon the behavior of the consumer the one who uses the product right if the consumer do not behave properly in the sense he do not he may not follow the instructions that are given by the manufacturer we always see that uh, there are man uh, there are manuals provided with the product and those manuals must be read and the instructions must be followed that is the behavior if the person who is using the product product may not have read the instructions that are given in the manual and if he is not following like uh, knowledge of a product user if you do not if you do not have if he does not have uh, proper information about the product then he may use the product in the other way which is supposed not to be used in that case what happens injury may cause to the consumer second one is the environment where the product is used 